Leo, thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a reading of how your person feels about you. So take what you can use and leave what doesn't connect. So all the oracle cards go here, which are all for you, and the tarot cards over here are the energies around you, but this you'll probably show up over there as well. So let's get started. Thank you for all the support on the channel too. I appreciate it so much. So Brand Spankin' New talks about something is getting ready to bring light into a dark situation for you. Something is getting ready to end, and I feel like you're going to know it's getting ready to end here pretty quickly because you're going to get some sort of message or intuition that what's coming. So sticky wicket. So I do feel like there's some situation that is going to be a little hard to release so I feel like it's going to be a little difficult so yeah let's see what the next one is magnanimous me so you're going to make it through a situation that's going to make you feel completely whole it's going to make you feel powerful you're going to be very proud of yourself the way something worked out so I do feel like something's getting ready to come in and change and it's not going to be easy, it's going to be kind of a little bit of a struggle, but you're going to come out the end very happy. So the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is saying that your person feels like you knew a lot of stuff that they didn't tell you. You seem to have a lot of intuition. They seem to think that you were really honest, that you held honesty to a really high level that you seem to know things before they happen. Excuse me, so the fool. So the fool is telling me that they feel like you were going a new direction. You were going a new direction. You were going to take a new um, chance. So Ace of Coins. Wow, your person sees you as very successful in coins. Very self-reliant. That you... Looking at this, I feel like they feel like you were very strong in your own power, that you would take chances, that you usually did good when you took chances or had goals that you really would s be successful. And Nine of Wands talks about they feel like you were like a warrior, like you fought hard for the things you wanted and then you weren't going to release the things you wanted. So maybe you were opinionated in some ways as well. But they feel like you were kind of aggressive where you went for what you want. So then Seven of Cups came out upside down, which is really weird because I don't, I don't know how that happened. So this talks about they feel like you looked into the future a lot. You spent a lot of time looking into the future and you were very adamant on the future. So Knight of Swords says that to me, this is them spying on you, or they saw you, that you were aggressive in your choices and your dreams and where you wanted to go and what you wanted to do, that you had many opportunities, you talked about them a lot. And it's almost like you, they felt like they couldn't be in your dreams or something like that, so the Empress. So the Empress is somebody very nurturing, very loving. So I feel like they feel like you were successful because you were very loving to other people, you were kind to other people, but your heart was in the right place. And that you hold yourself to a high standard. King, Knight of Coins. So Knight of Coins is them feeling like it's almost like they feel like you had somebody else who was coming in to offer you more than what they could offer you. So Queen of Cups. So we have it, we're clarifying the Seven of Cups. So I do feel like they saw you as very loving, but they feel like you did not... Something about your love in the future. Something, I'm not sure what that means. Your love in the future. So, Ten of Cups. So, I do feel like you saw your bright future. You saw happiness in your future. I mean, this is really good. Nine of Coins. Well, I was thinking this earlier, too, and I was getting ready to do these readings and meditating. So, I do feel like 
you saw your big picture. I'm getting that a lot. You planned, you focused, you did so many things to secure your stability and you had a, lots of ideas in your head and where you want to go, what you're going to do. And I do feel like it's kind of strange because you're here, unless this is, I feel like this is you though, I do feel like this is you, I feel like they see you as loving, um, independent, self-reliant, good with bringing the coins in, they see you as the Ten of Cups, and then you moved away from them, so you ghosted them, you left them out in the cold, so to speak. So now I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot Deck Leo. Thank you for all the support on the channel, if I didn't already say that. I appreciate you all so very much. So you have strength, Leo. This is your card. So they see you as very strong. You ghosted them and you got stronger. So Nine of Sky is telling me that they're very stressed out because they saw you as their forever. They saw you as the happiness or you saw them as that way. And somebody got very stressed out because it wasn't working out that way. So Eight of Fire is blame, so I do feel like somebody's blaming somebody. I almost feel like they're blaming you. They're stressed out and they're blaming you for moving away from them. So Six of Fire tells me that um, you could have met this person at work, but it also tells me there was a lot of... This person sees a lot of people catering to you. They see a lot of people wanting to be your friend. A lot of people maybe manipulating you. A lot of people just wanting to be your friend, good and bad, and that you had a lot of friends, but you weren't very particular, I feel, about who was good and who was bad to be your friend, who was for both of you and who wasn't. So some of your friends, I feel, were not supportive of your relationship and this person and this person felt that so death and ending so your person felt like they didn't have the strength to continue to go up against you and your friends blaming them or something like that two of earth so two of earth is strength and balance so they see you as when you weren't around them you got stronger so Earth Queen. Earth Queen is clarifying the blame card which tells me there was a female involved in this that is very rigid, very opinionated and I feel like she may have had some kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Some direction over your person I feel and so because this person, this person sees your strength and balance and they saw that they could put something in your person's head that your person would end it. So I do feel like somebody interfered and made a comment like, oh, they're not going to stay with you, they're more successful than you, you're not good enough for them. Something of that happened here. Six of Earth. So I do feel like somebody was in your business about being generous. Somebody was very generous and other people made comments about it. They interfered in that generosity, that kindness that you exhibited is how your person feels like. Your person feels like you let other people comment on how generous you were to them. So the next one is three of C. So I do feel like there was friends in the situation that weren't accepting of your partner marriage for a fire so they feel like this was a marriage but it wasn't strong enough the marriage or long-term commitment wasn't strong enough that you let other people interfere so ten of C again this would be travel but I feel like there's a lot of people that got involved one person in particular that instilled Anxiety, they put doubt in your person's ear, Leo, and this person started doubting themselves. They started looking at you and seeing you as everything they couldn't be. And then Sky King. So Sky King is somebody very cold. So I do feel like they saw 
somebody around you that was really cold to them. Somebody, maybe it was a family member that they felt like couldn't, couldn't um, accept them is what I'm feeling. So then you have Five of Earth, which is ghosted. So I feel like you, again, ghosted this person. They spent a lot of time watching your social media. Maybe they drive by your house. And Nine of Earth is them feeling like your future is going to be, you're going to get married to someone else, that you see your future with somebody else, and all they can do is watch. So Eight of Sky is telling me they feel stuck. They feel stuck with the friends that they let interfere and then three of fire three of fire is somebody who is asking how this happened how did this get like this so the whispers of the or no the earth wisdom for you is freedom so your faith and your belief made you free is what I'm picking up totally that there was something it was black and white for you. There was either right or wrong. There was no in between, no gray area. Practical intuition. So I do feel like you have intuition about a sticky situation. You listen to your yourself. I mean, look at you have two moons here, and they both are as bright as the sun, basically, and. I just feel like you're moving forward, you're going um, to where you feel like you're supposed to go. You're listening to your intuition, Leo. And two is understanding. So I do feel like you're understanding that everything happens for a reason, that people come into your life and it works out and sometimes it doesn't. You feel like you have to stay on your path, but it talks about that you are aware and you can be free to try and understand everybody's situation, Leo. You try to see it from their point of view. You try to see it from your point of view. You listen to your friends. There was just a lot of understanding and awareness. And I feel like you'll be free now a little more because you're going to listen to yourself more than your friends. You're going to be more aware of things that you learn from the situation. So every step counts. This is the nudibranch skill, the sea slug. It talks about there is an advantage to taking things slowly rather than deeply and fully as you consider your options. So every step counts going towards a brand new beginning. So I do feel like you have started all over and it wasn't easy. Looking at the underbelly. I have been seeing this for two days. I do not understand why. So I feel like there's something underneath. Leo, let's see. Be sure you are using your time in the best possible manner. You might consider taking time to organize yourself or perhaps a project you are working on could use some fine tuning. So I do feel like there's something underneath all this that you were not aware of and you're still not aware of. I feel like you could be finding something out maybe around the full moon that's going to be caused a little sticky wicket but you're going to make it through a situation and you're going to be understanding and you're going to be shining in your own light. Alright, so now I'm going to pull the Angels and Ancestors cards for you. Lord, take charge with authority. So I do feel like you are have new beginnings coming to you. I feel like you're protected. You're standing your ground over something. There, every step counts, but there's something underneath that you are going to stand your ground to. So I do feel like you're going to find something out about something that I feel like it's going to be, how do I explain it? It's, it's almost like it's going to be an accident. You get some information that you weren't supposed to get is what I feel. And it's going to make you powerful because look at the school of fishes here and here's you, the orca. So I do feel like you're going to find out some information that's going to make you feel really powerful. And it's going to help you believe, like you're going to have freedom, you're going to be more in your faith, a lot of faith in this, that what's coming to you is going to be good and for you. So then you have shapeshifter, transform, and unveil your gifts. So this tells me a lot of instinct. It has the hawk on there, the wolf, I see the snake, I see the fox. There's just a lot of, and the earth, I do feel like your intuition 
is really strong and something about an underbelly is going to shift to you. Something is going to be a little sticky, but when it shifts, it's going to be very powerful. And because you're going to stay on top of it, I feel, you're going to be a little bit of aggressive to make sure something keeps going because your instinct is telling you, keep on it, keep on it, keep on it. Something that you're dealing with that's you have to keep commenting on something, something that other people don't see or somebody's not dealing with something that you have to keep bringing up. And it's going to be to your success from you doing this. So I hope this makes sense. Thank you so much. Bless you.